Hey, this is Matthew Butler. Welcome to the Abstract Vector Line Tutorial. So this should be pretty simple and straightforward, but basically what you do is you open up the project file and it'll look something like this. You go to, in the um, project folder here, place logo here. And this is just a placeholder, the Envato logo. You can just delete that or you can replace it. So I'm just going to delete it and I'm going to bring in the Vado logo. So, what you're going to want to do is scale this up till it's, you know, looking pretty good on these lines on the side or maybe a little bit bigger. Um, but just just know the bigger you make it, um, the bigger it'll be on screen. So, you don't want to go to the very edge, but you kind of want to go as big as you can. So, I'll go right there and if your logo is a vector art make sure you click this little button here for continuous rasterization to make sure it's the best quality it can and if you're using like a Photoshop file or a JPEG image or a PNG or something like that you're gonna want to make sure that your scale doesn't get too over too much over a hundred percent or else you're gonna get some pixelation and it'll be a problem down the road so now that that's taken care of I can go to the final which is the final animation and all you need to do is click this controls and you have the option to either have the single color line as it is right here or you can uncheck that and it'll bring back a rainbow color that is the original colors here so let's just say you want your uh, single colors you can check that and then just rotate that around um, to whatever color you'd like um, but Sometimes the colors look a little bit weird, so um, you're going to want to mess around with the saturation as well, so you can drop that down, um, maybe change the um, vibrance here, as well as the saturation on this other control, um, just to dial in exactly the color that you're looking for. And once that's taken care of, you can just hop to the end and make sure your logo appears the way it should, and after that, I mean you can just modify it or you can render it out uh, whatever you like to do I'll jump into the inner workings of this just for a second um, just when you open up the final you have the controls obviously I just talked about audio mix is the audio file that is included with this um, and then you can click this little shy guy button and it'll uh, everything else that's in this project file will appear first we have the logo at the end and then also the logo shadow that appears at the end so if you want to bring the logo up sooner or something you'll want to select these two guys and move those up or move them back or whatever you're looking for and then also if you want to modify how this logo comes in um, right now it's like a 3d logo that kinda bends in like that um, if you want to modify that you can come up, you can go into that um, composition, which I'm in right now, and then go to the bottom. There's this null layer that is doing the rotating. So if you're looking to, you know, have it rotate in like a crazy angle, like whatever you're looking for, you can do that in here. Um, what else? Um, mostly everything else in here deals with having the shadows and the background and the colors and um, the shadows and the ambient occlusion appear perfect so um, I'm not going to get into any details with these just because it takes um, I, I don't foresee anyone actually wanting to modify any of these but um, if you do just just know that you have quite a few um, layers that are modifying the colors and the um, the saturation and the um, shadows and everything else. So this should give you a good overview and let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have fun with this one. Thanks.